You've served your purpose, intro screen. was a challenge worthy of my might. Adventuring for you to adventure in has been magically deposited inside your adventure. Bovine, what have they done to you? Who would steal a cow prop species, and why? Who, what do you know of these foul creatures? Fascinating, a blend of my ancient orcish foes and technology. I too noticed that. My Poor, brave mentor! Stand resolute, my formerly quadrupedal chum. It means four-legged. Can Spanktopia survive these upheavals? I agree. The resolve of the citizens will be well tested. I see. Then I will seek more information on this fell enemy. Farewell! My poor bro- Stand Rizzo- It me- So, how have you been? Really? You don't seem like a dancer. Oh, I'm sorry, you're right. That was racist of me to assume. 
and I shall look inward and groom my very being and stop eating veal. Oh, sure, clubs and sharp things are great, but a real hero knows how to use his shield. Block melee arranged attacks with perfect timing to reflect them back at your enemies. Looks like I need more justice! Should I fall in my pursuit? is a special time in a hero's life. You gain new abilities, access to new hero cards, and hair where before you had no hair. It's very exciting! Cookies are delicious snacks packed with tasty morsels of justice and quest hits. Get stumped, and it's cookie time, baby!
Why, it's my old friend, dear, uh, Thungalith Researcher. I have a name, you know. Hey, that's great. But what incredible coincidence brings me to you? We should do lunch. Get our chili on. Deathspank, surely you've noticed that the city is in ruins. Sounds like the sort of thing that happens around me. I detected a massive influx of Thongli energy. Then, boom! These horrible creatures appeared. Tell me, Deathspank, have you been wearing all the thongs of virtue at the same time? Sure, but you can't argue with these results. You fool! The thongs were never meant to be worn together. Doing so has created a foul copy of yourself. That horrible creature, that anti-spank, puts the entire world at risk. I beg you, Death Spank, leave this place, find the bacon fires, and use them to destroy the thongs. Only then may you defeat that horrible creature and redeem yourself. The exit to the city lies to the far north. Sure thing, exposition researcher. All raised weapons may be charged up to do new and exciting things. Try holding a button down and make the magic happen. a boy. I said boy. Look, there's no time to argue. Tell me the quickest way out of the city. Well, that's on the other side of the door, isn't it? I lost the key, but you can make a new one with the replicator. Ah, the replicator. The greatest invention of our age. After karaoke. Word. And what break tell is the replicator code? I don't know it. But check your fortune cookies. Ah, fortune cookies! My trusted companion in adventure! Tell me how I would program the replicator. The replicator uses advanced punch card technology. Gather them up and use them to enter replicator codes. You'll find the code inside the fortune cookie int for the quest inside your quest log. And where are these handy fortune cookies? You can find those in your inventory screen or your quest log. Piece of delicious cake! I don't mean to pray, but are you positive you're a boy? I've got a Y chromosome, I have. That's a real achievement for a little girl. Farewell, girl. See ya, governor. Bit forgetful, then the lost and found is perfect for you. 
Any quest items you forget will find their way to these helpful little boxes. How do they do it? I don't know. The lost and found is empty. Time to be out of treasure chest keys. Time to be out of treasure chest keys. <laughs> Locksmith, you survived the cyborg attack. That's. Well, that's something, I suppose. Oh, Death Spank. It takes more than a cyborg attack to kill me. Super. I need a punch card. Got one? Of course. There's one in my treasure chest. Now, obviously, I won't just give you a key to unlock it. Obviously. First, I need you to travel to the far-off frozen reaches of the northern wastes to find a pair of matching snowflakes. Then I need a shade of red, never before seen by man. Then you must slay the unkillable invisible creature that lives only in my mind. Um. Take up knitting to create me a scarf several furlongs in length. Please stop. Eat several car parts. Lightly toasted. And then, only then, will I open the chest for you. Well, that was a freebie. <laughs>
The grinder is a piece of technology that somehow turns useless items into valuable cash. Just pick... purveyor of consumables. I'm in the mood for something nutritious. What a delight to see your bulbous head sack again. Intergalactic hero Death Spank. Green alien swells with anticipation of justice. And offspring consuming parasites. That's super. Much danger, Death Spank. Green aliens are in. Destruction of Spanktopia. Red aliens are enjoying. Gather nearby, red aliens do. Preemptive strike, Death Spank. Must do we be? This gizmo. Use on the force field beacon, you must. To work, manual target lock, gizmo requires. We really need to work on your grammar sometime. Kill Red Alien's death bank will, ha <laughs> ha. Now, now you got me doing it. Reward with advanced green alien technology, we will, for your efforts. A punch card? Green aliens have moved to a more advanced technology. Blank punch cards. Wowzers! There are a variety of weapons I may use at any time and in any location. Assign weapons anywhere they're comfortable to insert. The enemy or object displaying its name is my current target. I think that'd be pretty obvious, but some people need to be told.
aliens, my little green comrade. I've taken care of the red aliens. Much gratitude, friend Deathspank. of the sullen look and sloping brow of an orphan. Yes, Death Spank. My parents were orphans, so I'm an orphan too. Please, Death Spank. Friends of the orphans. Friends seems a little strong, but go on. Some nasty ghosts took my stuffed animal. The two big scary ghosts were fighting over it and ripped it into two pieces. Poor Mr. Umphalumpagus. He was one day from retirement. Fine, I'll reassemble your toy. Oh, and don't forget that you can't hurt ghosts with mortal weapons. To kill the undead, you have to use nature-based weapons. I see you don't have any nature weapons, so here, take these. Use this weapon and these nature bolts to kill the undead. Hey, I don't tell you how to be an orphan.
getting a little challenge. This is also a tutorial. I hope that helps. I need to put a blank punch card in here. again, smelly orphan. Here is your stuffed animal in two delightful halves. 
No, no, no. You need to fix it before you give it to me. But this is twice the stuffed joy. Please, Death Spank. Orphans, I have so little joy. Fine, I'll fix your stupid toy for babies. Greetings again, smelly orphan. I have restored your stuffed toy. You fixed Mr. Umphalumpagus! Thank you, Death Spank! All right, all right. Let's just keep this between us. Need to put a punch card in here. Again, childlike child. Hello, Mr. Death Spike. Farewell, girl. See ya, Govda. Wow, the orphan population is really out of control. I'll have to order up some wolves to keep the numbers down. Death Spank, prepare yourself! Deny unkillable mine orc is just up ahead. He burst out of the ground right after that terrible creature appeared. Why does the big bad guy look like you, Death Spank? Probably a coincidence. Then venture forward and kill the mine orc! Thank you, suspiciously placed orphan. Not so fast, Death Spank. The Anti Spank has called for your death, and I must obey. The cold revenge of the cyborgs is at hand. 
There's only room in this universe for one speck. Maybe two on weekends. Your journey ends, Death Spank. Big talk from someone with a pun for a name. I kill you as easy as I kill my loyal servant on the right. I'm getting out of here. know it's safer to quest in a group. Invite your friends to join you in so fantastic cooperative play. Your map is... well, it's a map. Forbidden zone, eh? Sounds homey. Aye, mister. I know you. Your death spank. Orphans? Here in the Forbidden Zone? Actually, sir, I'm half orphan. My father was an orphan, but my mother wasn't. I see. How did you come to this foul place? My family were potato farmers that fled here during the great carbohydrate fear. That was a dark time for you people. For the dynamite time for sexy abdominals. I mean, check mine out. Ha pow! Tell me of this dry, desolate land. Nobody is allowed in the Forbidden Zone. Not even me or you, because it's so crowded. It's all so clear now. Most people live in Forbidden City, which is kind of northish from here. But getting there is incredibly dangerous. What would all the forbidden people know? They attack anyone they see. Why don't they attack you? I have mob connections. How have you survived here until now? Well, most of the garbage from that fancy city to the south ends up here. I pick through it, looking for good gizmo to sell at Forbidden City or give to Zyman. He's the almighty leader of this place. His citadel is far off in the east. I'm looking for bacon fire. Bacon fire's not real silly. It's mythical. 
you know, made up. Like dragons, leprechauns, or a mother's love. Listen up, short round. Don't tell me what's mythical. In my time, I've killed all three of those things. Well, if anyone knows, it'll be Zyman. He knows everything. Farewell, youngling. Bye-bye, Death Spank. Don't touch me. It's the mayor. I haven't seen you since I had you banished for... Massive corruption! You're... looking well. Looking well? I'm a prisoner of cannibalistic monsters! Yeah, well, apart from that... You gotta get me out of here, Deathspank! The webbing is too strong to break! The hatchlings have glands that eat through this stuff and... <laughs> Corrupt mayor, enough glands to free nine mayors. My hero! Now, take this camera. Do I need an adult? Calm down, Death Spank. I need to win the civilized forbidden people over by showing them how brave I am. To do this, we'll work as a team. Go team! You have the easy part. Fight your way to the most dangerous photogenic spots and take pictures of me while I bravely pose. Okay. Take this camera and get those photos. Let's go! Combat music turn! Well-armed man. Oh, sure. I'm well-armed. But am I well-armed enough? Are our children well-armed enough? Well, I'm... single. Even a warrior such as you fears to use your weapons. What? That's not true. I love inserting weapons. Prove your manhood's manliness, then. I can't compete with that logic. Find and slay the Forbidden Zone dire beast. Bring me proof of the kill. I've never wanted to do something more in my entire life. Then beware, would-be hunter. The fell beasts of the Forbidden Zone will terrify any man, even if he's a woman. I feel like I learned a lot today.
potion, piece of food, heal thyself! Now that's a political 
picture. Follow me for civic pride.
Dead. Weapon enthusiast, behold the pelt of a forbidden zone dire beast. Perfect. You've proven yourself to be a bit of a man. Perhaps you are a man, Deathspank. A real man. A man not scared to use weapons. Look, I just want to know if I should sit down to pee or not. Find and slay the forbidden zone hive queen. And be quick about it. I have a book tour to go on. I swear by the gods that you will make those tour dates. I'm so proud of you right now.
Now give me that camera and speak to that dignitary to announce my arrival. Greetings, Keeper of the Gate. I am Despek. Will you open this gate for me? Of course not, sir. We only open the gate for political dignitaries during the election time. Talk to me about the exciting world of door guarding. Once I fell in love with a horse-like creature. She wanted to come inside the city. I said no, for ours was an outside love. I see. Behold, I have with me a politician of great worth. What are your credentials, sir? Massive corruption! Welcome, important person. Thanks, Deskbank. A new life of senseless corruption awaits.
Hog's weapon enthusiast, feast your eyes on these Hive Queen remains. An incredible deed done by an incredible boy. Perhaps even a teen boy, but not quite a man yet. I will win your respect, father figure. Only the death of a Forbidden Zone lion would earn my respect. And even that's not a guarantee. That's enough of a guarantee for me. Damsel. You dare greet a red princess of the Forbidden Zone in such a way? I am Deathbank! I dare! I double dare! I double dare with a cherry on top, no take backsies! Then you are a very brave warrior. Perhaps you could serve as my champion. I don't see anyone else volunteering. My champion must face horrifying terrors. For trivial rewards. Trivial was my mother's maiden name. Travel north and prove yourself in the arena three times. Then your terrifying journey will begin. Again, corrupt mayor. I knew it! I knew I smelled election fever! Ha! I must win the election here! I'm too pretty to survive civilian life! Will you help me again, Despink? Anything for you, mayor. Good! First, take these extra ballots. Fill them out with appropriate forbidden citizen names and put them in ballot boxes around the town. What's an appropriate forbidden citizen name? How should I know? That's why I'm giving you the job to do. So do it. How can I resist that silver tongue? Greetings, traveler. Greetings, android. I am Deathbank, hero to the downtrodden. State your function. I am Bankerbot 1040, servant of Zymon. Tell me of your master, Zymon. Zymon monitors and maintains quality of life within the Forbidden Zone. Zymon pulls Forbidden Zone contaminants from the air so citizens may breathe. Zyman accepts donations of useful debris from Forbidden City citizens. Wow, if you like Zyman so much, why don't you marry him? Zyman and Bankerbot were married in a civil ceremony 12 years ago. Sensational! What's a Bankerbot like you doing in a place like this? Bankerbot is here to process debris collected by Forbidden City citizens. Citizens sort collected debris into useful, benign, and insanely dangerous piles. Bankerbot collects useful debris for Zyman to effect repairs. Without Zyman, all life would swiftly end in the Forbidden Zone. Heavy news, man. So, how's life in the Forbidden City? Life in the Forbidden Zone is nasty, brutish, and short. Nasty's a good word, but the kids now, right? 
I can barely keep up with how they talk. Recently, orc-like combatants have appeared in the Forbidden Zone and inside Zyman's complex. Much damage has been done by these creatures. If Bankerbot could feel fear, Bankerbot would require new pants. Sure are a lot of things trying to kill me around here. Only the most horrible of life forms survive in the Forbidden Zone. High levels of radiation and impure water have created many mutant strains of beasts. These creatures force the creation of Forbidden City, where citizens live in relative comfort and moderate terror. I must take my leave. Goodbye, valued customer. Have a nice day. Don't tell me how to live. Hello, Forbidden Zone Minor Character. Can't talk, citizen. Can't you see how busy I am? I'm focused on the election. How dare you bother me? Slow down there, champ. I just said hello. I'd like to vote, please. Very well. I need your ballot. Here is my official ballot. Okay. And what, pray tell, is your name, sir? Sorry, but this is too much commitment for me right now. Then on behalf of the Forbidden Zone election process, thank you for wasting my time.
Great potion, save me! Greetings, voting boother. Greetings from the exciting world of elections. So, elections, huh? Your remarkably ignorant question shows you to be a keen student of politics. Only Forbidden Zone citizens may elect the mayor. Each citizen may only vote once, and only within their own district. You need only combine a ballot and a name to start the magic. But not the good kind of magic. Correct! It's time for me to cast a vote for justice. Then hand over your ballot, good lad. How can I trust you with this ballot? I understand your caution, citizen. Those ballots are hard to come by and made from expensive materials. Really? No, not really. It's time for me to cast a vote for justice. Then hand over your ballot, good lad. I have said ballot right here. Then soon this blank ballot shall be emblazoned with a name.
Edgar Van Hinkelstink. Edgar? We went to school together. You haven't changed a bit. Hey there, guy. How are your things? They're all dead, Edgar, and I think you know why. But it's great seeing you again. You too, big fella. Keep it real. Bye. Again, election volunteer. I'd like to vote, please. Very well. I need your ballot. Here is my official ballot. Okay. And what, pray tell, is your name, sir? Shook Walk Molly Barner. Ah, yes, the great forbidden citizen, Dr. Molly Barner, inventor of the forbidden dance. Sure, why not? But I thought you died a while back. Rumors of my death were greatly exaggerated. And according to my records, you haven't voted for 74 years. No candidates have seemed worthy of my extremely elderly vote. Well, welcome back to the process, sir, and thank you for voting. Forbidden Zonian. Welcome to the electoral process. I will be your guide through the most exciting time of your life. Not puberty again. Voting! Explain democracy to me. Life in the Forbidden Zone is nasty, brutish, and short. Requiring that only the most morally adaptable people become mayor. All forbidden citizens registered with Z-I-M-O-N, Zymon, may vote. The only requirement is that they bring a ballot and identify themselves. Well, then I'd like to vote, please. Bring forth the ballot of electing. Behold said ballot. Now, what is your name, sir?
Balamar Higglewiggins. Of course, of the Southland Higglewiggins. You know, I could have sworn that you died. You're thinking of a similar looking person with the same name that died. Of course I am. Thank you for voting. Greetings, helpful character. Good day, would-be voter. It's time for me to cast my vote. Then give me your ballot, and I will transform you from mere citizen to real voter. <laughs> then I transfer to you my ballot. Very good. And your name is... Todarian Crumman Toner. Yes, I have your name here in my census. Uh, this seems out of date, though. According to this, you're a woman. I used to be. And I welcome your life choice. Thank you for voting. Again, corrupt mayor, the election is as good as won. A grateful mayor thanks you, Deskbank. For your reward, please take this key to a city. Which city? Not sure exactly. Oh, wait, it's written here. This key unlocks the door to the ancient complex home of Zyman. Hmm, that message sets off my mayor sense, Deskbank. Zyman sounds important to both elected officials and normal scum like you. With all these cyborgs I've heard of, I need you to go in and make sure Zyman is okay. How? Hmm, I don't know. Try using some fortune cookies. Sure thing, Mayor. Greetings, loudly dressed individual. Hail, warrior! I am Despek, and I have come here seeking challenge. Then you are in the right place, my friend. The Forbidden Zone Arena is where a hero's worth is determined. Well, I have a princess that needs impressing. Then enter the arena, brave hero. Within it lies challenges to test the mettle of any hero. Impress any princess and nicely boost ratings in time for sweeps. Sweeps! Your arena challenge lies broken and defeated. A magnificent victory. Speak to me again when you're ready to re-enter the arena. Hopefully next time you will die in an entertaining manner. Hopefully. We are speaking again, Deathsbank, so you must be ready for another challenge. You speak truth, Impresario. I'm surprised you know that word. You know I am too. Then go forth into the arena and join the endless battle for glory and ratings.
victory has been thusly obtained. Our interstellar ratings agree with you. Such great deeds do not go unrewarded. Unless we are speaking financially. Speak to me again when you seek the next great arena challenge. My calculations show that one more win shall earn you princess level respect. Then let's get this organized violence started. Challenge lies in ruins. Well done, champion. Well done. I couldn't have done it without you. I know you have a busy adventuring life, but never forget the arena of the Forbidden Zone. We're always looking for heroes to lay down their life in near pointless physical combat. Speak to me if you wish new and greater challenges. This chest requires a special key. The princess is impressed, and yet I need more. I seem to be addicted to organized violence. Well, I'm addicted to a variety of things. So that works out great. That's a sick burn. Victorious with winning. I'm so proud of you right now. You're like the son I never call. Hit me with another challenge. Something that can never be topped, except by the next one. I can make that happen. And the next one as well. So long. An enemy's health and level is displayed over their head. If they have a head. Some don't. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Another victory for the Big D! I refuse to call you that! Right, because the name Despank is totally normal! Good point there, Big D! After careful consideration, Mr. Tournament Master, I've decided to re-enter the arena. Wonderful! We just finished cleaning up the last guy!
Bank has stared death in the face and triumphed. I trust this victory will make me a media darling. At this rate, Death's Bank, soon you'll have your own reality show. Not sure what could be realer than arena violence, but I'll think of something. Maybe have you marry an elk. Elks are great. I'd watch that. Greetings, entertainment organizer. Good day, my personal gold mine. Uh, let's try another challenge. Those are the only words I want to hear from you. Step into the arena, if you dare. On second thought, I don't feel like winning just now. Well, that's just typical, isn't it? So hard to find good gladiators these days. And I went to all this trouble. I'm... I'm sorry. Just go. I don't want you to see me cry. I have proven myself in the arena. Then truly you are ready to be my champion and avenge my honor of the slights I have suffered. Now we're talking. 
First, you must travel to the garden of my greatest rival. To the garden! And destroy her roses. Oh, that doesn't seem too heroic. Champions act, they don't think. Good point. It's time to cultivate with extreme prejudice. Your rival's garden lies slain. At last. No longer will suitors woo her from the flower beds, and she will die alone and unloved. Yeah, welcome. With my rival's garden deforested, it is time to smear her beauty. You're a good person, I can tell. I'm a great judge of character. Silence, dog. You betcha. Obtain the excrement from the foulest beast in the Forbidden Zone and place it in her fountain. Sounds like your rival's going to be all washed up. Yeah.
a sick burn. Gonna be standing near your rival anytime soon. <laughs> well, maybe someone that works in sanitation. Well done, my champion. Is there a happy ending to this quest chain? Of course not. Super! appears to be broken. Greetings, Flesh Adventurer! I am Zyman, the greatest computer ever known! Fear my 1200 baud modem! Marvel at my several bites of memory! Let your eyes boggle at my 80-column display! Greetings yourself, big guy. I am Dispeg, hero to the downtrodden. Zyma knows this, and several other facts about your life. Damage to Zyma's brain and power system requires assistance. Slay cyborg invaders! Use innards to access the canals of Zyman's exterior. Then enter the endless halls of my mind and rebuild my logic pathways. Do I get a reward or something for doing that? File not found. Tell me about this incredible building. Eons ago, in the late 70s, this facility was built to maintain the Forbidden Zone and encase the mighty brain power of Zyman. Zyman maintains the barely healthy levels of water and earth. fire not found. Such wisdom in such a small package. Technology is great! I bet you can even do swell things like scheduling. Negative! Well, I'm still impressed. Zyman is powered by the porcine flame! An eternal source of power! Bacon fire! Some people call it that! Stupid people! 
like you. Speak to me of your computational power. Simon's mind is so big that Simon itself cannot comprehend it. Performing several operations a minute, most of them accurate. Recent intruders have damaged Simon, removing several bytes of Simon's precious memory. And also Simon's volume control. What does Simon mean, anyway? Simon stands for... Zealous, integrated, memory, optimized. I forget the rest. Well, it's probably not important. What else do you know about me? Simon knows exactly how many downtrodden you have helped. Within a 2% margin of error. Then tell me, wise machine, how many have I helped? Seven! Score! Farewell, ancient computer. Be gone, flesh person! This information is incredibly important. Attention, adventurer! Before you lies the entrance to Zyman's powerful mind! Zyman's mind has been slightly damaged! Speak the ancient code to gain access and effect repair! It is your destiny! But I don't know the code. Then travel across the canals to the north and south of my mighty complex and learn! I can't do that. Weapon enthusiast, the savage remains of a Forbidden Zone lion. By the gods, you are a man. 
worthy of the weapons you carry. Mazel tov! Well then, man, you're ready for a man's challenge. And a real man would use weapons to kill a Forbidden Zone Dinaroo. I will be done. You've won my respect, Deathspeck. Now you're stealing my heart. Weapon enthusiast, the fabled Forbidden Zone Dinaroo is dead. You could say he's extinct. No, I think dead is fine. Now we come to your real challenge. A horrible creature of living rock. Something that will test your will and weaponry. I'll admit I'm interested. The Forbidden Zone Coal Monster. A beast like you've never known. Are you sure? I've killed coal monsters before. Coal monsters that don't actually contain any coal? Oh.
Greetings, weapon enthusiast. The coal monster is now a nugget in my past. I'll just presume that means you killed it. Well done, Deathspeck. Your weaponry trials of manhood are complete. Six digit door code if you dare! One hero level guess incoming! 555 five, five, Midget Isosceles Covered Bridge! Access denied! And that guess was terrible! Sorry. I can't do I can't do that. You've done. Stick around! 
found. Ancient Master, I am Despek, hero to the downtrodden. Salutations, supplicant. No doubt you are seeking the ancient machine code. Correctamundo. Many have tried before you. All have died. I like those odds. Enter the dragon's lair behind us. Slay the mighty beast and the ancient code shall be yours.
head! What you've done. <laughs> enemy is slain but he was not our enemy the forbidden zone dragon was a testing ground for our people dying by your hand was a great honor for him oh it's sort of less fun when they want to die the ancient code is one one two two three three that's a tricky one Good thing Despek always brings a pen!
I can't do that. Come face me, fools! Lost and found is empty. The lost and found is empty. Lost and found is empty.
Greetings. Greetings yourself, Beardo. I have come for the ancient code. Many have come for that code. Greetings. But such ancient knowledge isn't for everyone. Prove to me you know our ancient ways. Face the adepts around you. Defeat them with logic or force, I don't care which. And the code will be yours. Greetings! Your master asked me to beat you. That is why my master loves me. I am so glad I adventure for a living. I hope you've brought potions, for soon you will bleed. After one or two sword blows, I think you'll concede. I know so little of mental struggle. I must submit to you. I am prepared for your question, Adept. Then listen up, hero. All other warriors I have defeated. Upon fighting me, you'll wish you'd retreated. Clearly, you are more worthy than I for our ancient knowledge. Thank you for defeating me. Hey, it was the least I could do. I have come seeking knowledge adept. Prepare yourself for combat or learning. Your metal, I'll test with my weapons of steel. This adventure I've started sounds less than ideal. You have chosen unwisely. No fool such as you may be trusted with ancient knowledge, so you must die. Form of a dragon! Adept, let's go mano a mindo. Prepare yourself, hero. Your time has come. You defeat me? Come on, that's just dumb. I am but a fool in the face of such truth. That's what I've been telling people for years. Test me with your catchy riddle, Adept. I'm 90% sure it will be solved. My skill with my weaponry you will soon taste. Your faith in yourself is clearly misplaced. There is no need for us to fight, Traveler. You are further along the path of wisdom than I. Obviously. Lay your riddle on me, adept. On guard, foolish hero, for soon you will die. That's no problem for me. There's an outhouse nearby. Ooh, such a powerful response to my riddle. I surrender myself to you. Ooh. Enlightenment is a piece of cake. Greetings. I must say, the adepts look well broken in. Your wisdom is proven, Despank. My half of the ancient code, I will teach you. The code is... Three. Three. Two. Two. One. One. Greetings. 
Why do you keep saying that? I have obsessive compulsive disorder. Oh, well, this is awkward. Man returns! Speak the six digit door code if you dare! Piece of cake! One, two, three, three, two, one! Access granted! Enter the mind of Zyman! Simon requires your assistance with critical repairs. You must activate the purple light circuit. That purple what? Just enter this sequence. Circuit. Got it! Red and yellow! No! Yellow and red! Yellow! Red! Yellow! Red! What's next? I could do a bluey, greenish red. Hello, I've never seen that written on a crayon before. Observe, meat mortal. Next one is my favorite. Red, red, yellow, blue, green, red, 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 yellow, blue, green, red, red. Your favorite color is pink. It is. Pink. It is the color of fish flesh. Salmon? Pacific cod. The noble stallions of the sea. No! Challenge! Start with brush and blue! Add equal parts Van Dyke Brown! And a touch of Alizar and Crimson!
much better! Full access to my several bytes of memory has been restored! Restoring air and water filtration to 60% of the Forbidden Zone! A passing grade! Zyman will grant Death Spike one boon! Ask and receive! Then grant me access to your porcine flame, Zyman! Why? Oh, you know, no reason! Extending bridge! Sign flame, that which fuels Simon. I'm just going to take a closer look. Move closer and observe Simon's power. Quester, baby. Hate the quest. Daisy, Daisy, do me all the Muto guy looks delicious. I hope I meet him. To the downtrodden! I am Muto, the artificial mascot! Can you kill me? So, what the hell are you? Muto was constructed by the nuclear family to welcome visitors to the forest of tomorrow and answer any questions people might have. Muto loves everybody! Everybody! No, really. What the hell are you? Muto is a blend of 11 herbs and spices and the genetic material of 14 delicious animals. I think I can guess what three of them are. Now Muto lives to serve. I don't think live is the right word, but we'll let it go for now. Can you open the door to the park for me? Please speak to Betty Nuclear in the Funasium about the entry to the park. 
Tell me of this fabulous techno park. The forest is the home of the nuclear family. You don't mean Dick Nuclear, inventor of the self-buttering bagel. Correct, visitor. The entire nuclear family lives and works within the forest, advancing science in ways both amazing and unnecessary. Each family member is a specialist in their own field. Muto was a combined effort of the entire family. Please kill me. You know, you look pretty edible. Mind if I have a nosh? Muto is compelled to obey. Taste the science. Laheim. <laughs> Greetings again, horrifying freak. Hiya, mister. Why should I kill you? Muto is an edible abomination. My life is agony. Muto's organs are made of licorice. The kids must just love you. You know, might have... Mu taste the... La Greetings, homemaker. Death Spank, thank the gods you've come. You've heard of me? That's good. Usually I have to do a whole spiel. My entire family is missing. You must find them before my roast is overcooked. The tragedy of this situation is moving. But tell me, nearby is there access to bacon fire? Oh, I don't know about things like that. I just concentrate on the cooking and cleaning, like this lovely pot roast I'm making. I salivate with anticipation. I'll open the door to the park so you can find them. like my family to disappear like this. It makes me so mad I could... Interesting. Now, who exactly is missing? Well, my husband, Dick, of course. My clever little boy, Elroy. And our lovely daughter, Chastity. Which way did your husband go? Dick's usually up north working on his robotics projects. He dreams of curing the ills of society through full-body sensual massage. He sounds like a true provider. He always thinks of the family first. Tell me of this boy child. I'm so proud of my little boy. He's always exploring new worlds, discovering forgotten technology, tinkering with ancient super weapons. Ha ha! Ah, kids! Where is your quote-unquote lovely daughter? Well, chastity, I fear, is of a certain age. You know, when a girl's thoughts turn to... Jousting? Romance. Jousting's better. In fact, I get the impression that Chastity has met a boy. Or at least, constructed one. Her laboratory is in the valley to the west. What exactly just happened with your little freak out there? With the exploding and kablammo! Oh gosh, how embarrassing. It's a family trait, I'm afraid. Whenever we get angry, an exothermic reaction occurs. Neat! Farewell, repressed woman. Farewell, hero.
surprise seeing you here it's uh very well not nice obviously death spank the man who destroyed my marriage that's the name 
Where is your aromatic husband, Strunken? Don't talk to me about Strunken. He ran away, leaving me to fend for myself. If you don't mind my saying so, you seem pretty fendable. All I have to keep me company is my two-headed dog, Leon. What's the other head called? I, uh, I don't know. I'll bet it's something funny like Rufus. Deathbank, a delicate flower like me can't survive alone in this wilderness. I need a man, Deathspank. A big, strong man, like you. I'll just go find your husband. Road detected!
Brothel mistress. Death Spank, don't tell me you've forgotten me. All right, I won't. No matter. It's good to see you again. I've left my father's laboratory and taken a position here with the nuclear family. But I could use your help. Something heroic like slaying a dragon? Please say it's slaying a dragon. Most requests I get are so dull. Oh, it's heroic, all right. Lay it on me. The vending machines need a restocking of addictables. You know I have a bunch of swords, right? I could reward you with a VIP pass to Dick Nuclear's champagne room. Adventuring does get pretty lonely. The plants I need are outside. They are called Tobaki. By your command. Why, it's Icken Badger! What a lovely surprise! Death Spank? Death Spank? And I see you found new gainful employment! Uh, we had to! Someone killed Lord Von Prong! No! The technical term is regicide. Learning is fun! We work for Dick Nuclear now! He improved us, he did! We're improved! Mind standing aside for your old buddy, Deathspank? Maybe letting your old buddy, Deathspank, in on the sly. Can't do that, mate. Nope. This room is for very important people only. But I'm the very definition of important. I saved our world from the threat of the Thong Lords. Sorry, Deathspank, we need written proof of your importantness. You must be very important, or better. <laughs> Greetings, vendor of potions. I'm looking to buy some liquid enhancement. Oh, no! 
to give tobacco plants to Lucy Eisenbein so she can stock greetings again, Lucy Eisenbein. Here is the tobacco as requested, Pimpet. Then enjoy your VIP pass, oh, but not too much. No deal. Behold, physical proof of my importance. 
<laughs> right this way, sir. I always believed in you, Death Bank. Breadwinner, I am here to rescue you from this den of mechanical pleasures. But I can't just leave all these mechanical maidens behind. Why, those Tiffany bots over there are working their way through college. But what about your family? My what? Your son, Elroy, your daughter, Chastity, and your wife, uh, Oven Girl. Oh, them. I suppose I do have manly duties to attend to. But it's hard sometimes, Death Spank. The wife always needs something. Elroy's no good at sports. And chastity. <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking of something... socialist. Pack your bags, father figure. It's time to move on. Well, I think the girls might have something to say about that. Oh, Tiffany's! <laughs> Pleasure bots are slain. Aw, nuts and fudge. All right, move it out. Well, if it isn't poop enthusiast, Strunken McClure! Howdy there, Death Spank! The days of poop and roses are far behind me now. I got so sick and tired of Ima, I finally left her for good. Really? You two seem so... Well, not happy, obviously. Let's say happy for now and come up with a better word later. <laughs> I'm serious. 
I will never, ever go back to her. Ever, never, ever, never. You see, here I can do whatever I want. Nobody bugs me to put down the toilet seat or put the lid on the toothpaste tube or throw away my wrestling magazines. Plus, these clones are amazing. Standing next to these ugly mugs, I actually look pretty good. So why are you done with Ima? Well, you met her, so you should have figured that out by now. Good point. Why are you here? Clones will do anything. Anything. Let's say, hypothetically, you have some dangerous farm equipment that needs testing. A clone will drive it into a volcano with nary a whimper. <laughs> that could come in pretty handy. What do you love about this place so much? I can do whatever I want, and that suits me just fine. Now that I'm single, <laughs> I can even chew tobacco again. Though it's gonna make me spit something fierce. Hell, I could probably fill a spittoon in no time. Sure do wish I had some right about now, cause I got me a hankering. <laughs> Fear not, Strunken. I will score you some addictive chewables. Well, that sure might have nice of you, Death Spike. <laughs> Goodbye, Farmer Strunken. You must be the nuclear man-child. Indubitably, for I am Elroy Nuclear. Boy genius. Somebody's full of himself. It's you. Since my family established this scientific preserve, I have endeavored to create the perfect childhood companion. This cloning facility appeared suitable for the task, and yet, all the subjects I create are flawed in some way. Compulsive explainers? What? No! They're two-legged, but what I really want is something with four legs and two heads. No time for that, youngling. Your family needs you. I can't leave. I just can't. I'm so tired of being without a friend of my own. Have you tried being less of a weirdo? Find me a two-headed, four-legged companion, and I'll go home. You said this is a cloning machine, so why not just make what you want? This only replicates humans. You just need to put some of the person's DNA in there, and out comes a clone. But sadly, I've run out of cloning components. Or, as I call them, clone ponents. Without these base materials, further cloning is impossible. What a conundrum! But perhaps recycling of failed experiments is the option. You may be a blooming mad scientist, but I like your environmentally conscious thinking. I will recycle that which is needed from the cloned abominations. One chunk from each kind of clone will suffice. Greetings, irregularly shaped person. No. Got a sort of good news, bad news situation. The good news? I need clone parts. Darp. Greetings again, Qu- Darp. Salutations, clone. Darp. Time for Deathbag to cut some clone. I know you won't mind. Darp. Good. Darp. Hello, gentle, well, let's say, woman. Yarp. Now, this might hurt a lot, but I think you have a high tolerance for pain. Yarp. Greetings again, quote, Yarp. Hello there, handsome-ish. Now, wait just a tick while I cut things off you. Probably won't hurt. Oh, 
J.J., you don't own a lot of mirrors. Yarp. Now, just hold still, little freak. I'm just gonna rip off a little chunk. Yarp. Greetings, gentle quadruped. Yarp. Hold still while I use Mr. Sword here. Don't worry, it's just like going to a dentist. Or possibly an undertaker. Yarp. You must be so good at picking fruit. Yarp. Hold still, Mr. Cloney Pants. Death Bank needs your kidneys. Yarp. Hey there, Fudgy. Yarp. So I notice you're a little heavy in clone components. <sighs> Let me cut them off. Yarp. Again, Strunken. I have some vendor tobacco for you. Oh, why, well, thank you, Death Spank. Here comes the spit. I hope there's a spittoon handy. Behold the spittoon of destiny. And I must say that's a beaut. Hold still while I fill it. I am not looking forward to this. Behold, boy, for I bring you clone ponents. Excellent. I will load them into the device. There. It's almost too easy. Does that make you want to go home yet? Not until you bring me a boy's ultimate companion. Just checking. Follow me, handsome. Yarp. Again, I'm a apple hole. I have for you your husband. Or close enough, anyway. Oh, Death Spank, thank you. Now that I have Strunken back, I have no need for this dog. You take him, Death Spank. Now it's time for me and Strunky to be alone. I'll just retreat to a safe distance then. <laughs> Greetings, child. Perhaps an animal like this is what you're looking for. I'll just do an extremity check. Four legs, two heads. This is perfect. Thank you, Death Spank. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sure thing, kiddo. I'll probably have to find a therapist for you next.
Newball youngster. What do you want? It's time to return home. It is food consumption time with the family. You can't make me leave. At long last, I've created true love. Nobody ever wants to do it the easy way. Raphael, this old man is trying to take me from you. <laughs> The monster is slain. It's time to go home. That was no monster. He was my one true love, crafted for pleasure by my firm hands. The way he, he. That's pretty messed up. You should go home and see if your parents want to uh, physically educate you. Mr. Weapon Seller. Don't get too excited. I'm probably just browsing. Behold, citizens, your lost waifs. Now, now, don't coddle the boy. Last thing we want to do is raise a socialist. I'm not a socialist. Stop calling me that. It makes me so mad I could... Oh, how I hate him. Be quiet, all of you. My authority at dinner is absolute. Whoa, 
chillax, citizens. Getting a little intense here.
music burn! Who knew peril was so perilous? Deathbag likes those odds! On second thought, I don't... Well, that's so... And I... I just... I... arena challenge is a challenge no more. Sensational, Deathspank. You're quickly becoming a media sensation. Soon, nothing will be denied you, from pizza toppings to organ transplants. Hello, new kidneys. Let's see what your eighth challenge has to offer. Deathspank, my friend, you'll love this one. A donkey-based fight of blood and terror! The hideous beasts are defeated, and I have barely broken a sweat. Then keep a change of t-shirt handy, Deathspank, for the next fight is a soaker. I've got a fever arena, man, and the only cure is more challenges. Then prepare for a terrifying challenge, for the arena claims people from all walks of life, even agriculture. That's heavy stuff. You've given me a lot to think about after I kill these ignorant farmers.
farmers have been laid to rest. And by rest, I mean stabbed. Then a proud afterlife you have given them. And given me excellent ratings. I'm feeling nostalgic, Arena Man. Serve me up some orcs. You know, I can make that happen. Was so refreshing. Like a breath of fresh air, whistling through a freshly sharpened sword. That's a terrible simile. Good thing you're so pretty. The camera loves you. It's time for another course of tasty justice. Well, the arena chefs have been hard at work. So step in and feast your eyes on what awaits. Justice has been served. That's a relief. I was getting really tired of this food metaphor. I think we all were. Bring me more challenges. I think I'm on a roll. Well, there's only one way to find out. Now get out there and kill. <laughs> The challenge has been completed, and everything lies dead. That's a relief. Today's payday. There was no way I'd afford paying all those guys. Salutations, alchemist. Lay some...
Greetings, man with an exclamation point over his head. I am... Hey, wait a minute. Freen? Freen Hempelstammer, is that you? I'm afraid so, Deadspank. You look just awful. The family felt business is gone, Deathspank. One arm bandit got me good. I just couldn't stop playing. It was so shiny. I just need a little felt to get back on my feet. That sweet, sweet felt. You're not going to just gamble it away again, are you? Well, probably not. Good enough for me. Slow down there, kiddo. Where do you think you're going? You mean you don't know me? I am Deathbank, hero to the downtrodden. Well, there's only entertainers there, buddy. Fighting by the light of the bacon volcano. Great Caesar's ghost, a bacon fire. It's the ultimate opera championship. The secretest, most awesomest thing in the rainbow's end which I have just told to you, a complete stranger. Can I go in? You don't even look like an entertainer. Only people in the correct entertainer costume were allowed in. Hypothetically, what would these people wear? They all wear hand-sewn kingly costumes. 
But what if they don't know how to sew? They find someone that does. But you look like a pretty tough guy. I could use someone like you. For what? I need someone to uh, fix the odds on all my slot machines. Just use these special dice on the slot machines to fix their odds. You do that for me, and I'll see what I could do for you. That's more than most people do for me. So, deal. Beware, Deathspank. The slots are home to foul creatures. They live entirely off buffet food and human flesh. Not buffet food! Again, freeing Hamplestammer. Behold, enough felt to get you started on your life again. Or re-enable your gambling problem. Oh, this is good. Real good, felt. Thank you, Deathspank. My family's precious felt business is saved. I love being a hero at a time like this. Wanna buy some felt? Okay, that I like a little less. Greetings again, freeing Hamplestammer. Can you help me make an entertainer's outfit that would get me backstage? Of course I can. But I'm going to need material for your outfit. Can't you just use felt? The entertainers of Rainbow's End use a high-tech clothing material. Unobtainable without long and boring quest chains. Well, that doesn't sound like much fun. That's true. How about you just steal it? Sounds like a plan. Now, if you want to be someone special, you need glamorous stones attached to your outfit. Go get some Blarney stones from the Blarney's rock mine below the city. I'll attach them to your outfit, and you'll look like a king. Of course, you'll need an official McMafia ice pick to mine it properly. Obviously.
Greetings, mining engineer. Oh, it's good to see you, Despank. You recognize me. That's good. Means those banner ads are paying off. I have a problem. Lay your woes on me, little buddy. There was a clover slide this morning that trapped all of me miners in the mine. I would free them myself, but I have to stay here and look busy in case the boss drops by. And I'm actually pretty lazy. Leave it to me. Take this crate of explosives to blow up the debris and clear the mine entrance. Be careful, though. Any sudden attacking-like or flinching-like movements may set off the explosives. It's good to have just the right explosive for the problem at hand. Mining engineer. Tell me about yourself. Even as a young child, I dreamed of directing mining operations. I'd go to the beach and order people to build my sandcastles, then lay them all off when the tide came in. The miners must be a rough bunch. Well, they're all failed gamblers, you see. Mostly they gambled away all their money. Betting on card games and dice games, arena combat, and predicting which TV shows are renewed after sweeps. Ha! <laughs> Luck be a lady! So, what's the deal down here anyway? Eons ago, in the late 70s, this area was a lush land full of magical creatures. Naturally, they died when we paved over the place. Naturally. And now, we mine the magical corpses as an innovative new snack and treat. I love recycling. Need any help with anything? As luck would have it, I do. There are foul beasts in the mines. We awoke them after delving too deep and too greedily. Yeah, delving will do that to a guy. How greedy are we talking here? Horrible things, known as Woompas, emerged. Sounds gross. You should see a doctor. Woompas are big, hairy beasts. They capture workers alive, then freeze their feet in the ceiling. Wait, what? Why do they do that? I think it's because they're mean. And now they need killing. Sounds like my kind of thing. Greetings, miners. You are now free to exit this place and continue your work. What are you talking about? I have cleared the boulder that was trapping you here. No need to thank me. Get bent, freak. We're the ones that caused the cave-in. Why would you do something like that? We're tired, and we just wanted a long coffee break. But I guess you screwed us out of that now, didn't you? I sure did. Ha! See ya!
back to life.
Mining engineer, I have slain your problematic Wumpa. Ha! Take that, nature! There are a lot of bones in that cave, so I think they were also eating your workers. Oh, well, guess I'll go find some more gamblers. Mob boss, I have fixed all your slot machines as you instructed. Say, that was pretty snappy fixing. I like you, kid. From now on, you could call me Godfather. Thank you, Father Figure. But now I must ask you a favor, one you cannot refuse. Anything for you, Godfather. There are some monks that are preaching non-gambling at the bus station. I need you to make an example of them. It has to be ridiculous and over the top as a lesson to others. 
plant this lucky homing beacon on their evil bus of doom. I'd say that qualifies as over the top. I'll get right on that godfather. my boss. I have destroyed the monk's evil bus of doom. You have done well for yourself, Deathspank. I pronounce you a made leprechaun. Just the sexiest leprechaun around. And all made leprechauns receive this present, sanctified in the blood of snitches. The ice pick. May it serve you well. May you serve me well. Thank you, Godfather.
Again, freeing Hamplestammer, I have collected the Blarney Stones you require for my fancy outfit. Magnifico! Th that means good. Now all I need is some authentic entertainer material, and I can make your outfit for you. Greetings again! Good.
Greetings again, freeing Hamplestammer. I have collected a rich haul of tacky materials. Excellent. Well, that's everything I need to create an unholy fusion of cloth and man. Outstanding. Despec loves the clothing sciences. You know, I think this is some of my best work for a non-felt-based piece of clothing. Well, it's important to have goals. my boss. As you can see, I am now an entertainer. You sure are, buddy. I could see that outfit from the moon. <laughs> Go right in. It's the greatest thing you'll ever see, and possibly the last.
Smells like tourism to me.
Captain Tate. Death Spank. I see you found new oceans to plunder. Ooh, and a charming little hat. Good for you. Friend humanoid, Tint, welcomes Death Bank. Something seems unusual here. I've got it. New shoes. Affirmative, Death Spank. Also, slave body Tate is infected by mind barnacles. Well, you look great. Death Spank helps slave body Tate. Rescue mind barnacle mother. You silver tongue devil. Ha! How could I refuse you? Beloved mind barnacle mother is inside Cyborg Fortress. As is a bacon fire! Bacon fire? Hot diggity! Only an explosively overripe fruit will get you inside. Then, an overripe fruit I will fetch. Explosively overripe fruit! Haran! Explosively overripe fruit island! Catchy name. The island lies far to the northwest. Friend the Death Bank must also spread mind barnacle spores. You sailors and your funny requests. Place spores in well water. Infect more people with mind barnacles. Sounds harmless enough. Greetings, tourist. I am Deathspank, hero to the downtrodden. Hey, how about downtrodden tourists? Sure, why not? Hey, I need someone to take my picture. Hey, here's my camera. Hey, get my good side. You're the boss. Apparently. Here's your photo. Hey, thanks, Test Bank. Hey, could you mail it for me? Can't you mail it yourself? Hey, now I didn't go on vacation to work. Fair enough. Hey, here's 25 Canadian dollars to buy the stamp with. What's the exchange rate of Canadian dollars to real money? Hey, they're slightly above less than worthless. An empty mailbox. Curse you items, combine! <laughs> An empty mailbox.
industrious looking person. Greetings! I am the postmaster of these aisles. Who wants with the pile of undelivered mail? This is the mail for the islands in the area. I'm a little backlogged. Why? I'm not very good at my job. Look, I don't want to talk about it. Have you ever delivered a package before? You have no idea. If I ever see another package again... Thanks! I'd like to buy some stamps. Twenty-five Canadian dollars for one stamper replicator. Here you go. Nice doing business with you. Goodbye. Have you mailed my postcard yet? I'm getting to it. Jeez! Your postcard is safely deposited in the Barnacle Lake Postal System. Hey, thanks, Desbank. Hey, now I can return to my uh, hectic vacation schedule. I don't know how to hotwire a ship. <laughs> Greetings again, Captain Taint. You wouldn't happen to have the keys to your ship. Slave body taint will empty pockets. Behold, contents. Hello, various items.
to be back in the water. Use this mighty pirate ship to sail to the far reaches of Barnacle Lake. If you're feeling festive, fire off a cheery fireworks display. Thank <laughs> you. 
pretty. Okay, fine, I'm backing off. I get it. Restricted area. Sheesh. Greetings, citizen. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Hello, I'm right here. Ah, the old cat speak until they get a talking stick gambit. I see you have an overripe fruit. Why are you not talking? So, you can't say anything. Could I have your overripe fruit? Could I have your overripe fruit? Goodbye! Why would I even try to do that? Already open.
Is that you, Navy Captain? Death Bank! I'm so happy you're here! And I'm happy that you finally found an ocean to sail in. Oh, I found a right peach of an ocean! Angry tribes, dangerous waters, and mind-controlling creatures! But let me guess. You're stranded on this island until you get your crew back. How did you know? Heroic intuition. Don't worry, Captain. I'll gather up all this semen.
the alchemist. The weight of justice. Interloper, I will never surrender the sacred bucket. There's a sacred bucket now? The gods Darmak and Jalad demand your death. If you say so. to put a barnacle in the well.
damn death bank! Ship. I can sail anywhere, is that a gas leak I smell? There's a lack of safety measures, but I'm off to find some treasures. If the ship is unsound, I'll run the ground and swim back home again.
I don't want to grind this. It's one of the nicest things I have.
count as a kill? <laughs> is empty. Greetings, citizen. I'm sorry, what's that? I don't have time to talk to you right now. I'm busy preparing to address my people. I have so much to tell them, so much to say. I've been rehearsing for quite some time. I'm busy, so busy. The last thing I need is a distraction. Why are you talking so much? Because I have the talking stick, of course. And I'm about to give another one of my incredible public addresses. It's a treat for you to be around for it. My last one lasted 80 days. Your voice seems to be getting raspy. Yes, actually, I'm becoming a little dry from all this talking. I've been rehearsing for a long time now, you know. Practice makes perfect, though. And I'm definitely going to be perfect when I deliver this incredible speech. My people deserve nothing less than the best, and I am the best! But yeah, I'm a little parched. Oh, what is that stick you are carrying? You've never heard of it? That surprises me. I thought everyone knew the tale of the one and only talking stick. To keep communication civilized, we created the talking stick so that we could take turns. I've happily held it for the last 13 years. It's prevented the chaos that comes from simultaneous talking. May I borrow that stick of yours? <laughs> I laugh at your idea, as you probably just noticed. I will never release the talking stick. For as long as I hold it, all must listen to me. Why do you need to talk to them? Why? I say why not. I've got the talking stick and I'm going to make use of it. Everyone will hear my lovely voice echo in their minds for years and years and years and years and years and years, and years to come. Plus, it keeps them in line. Maybe you should have a drink of water. You know, that's a good idea. But I see my glass is empty. I wish there was water in it. Stop right there! Just back away from the well, Mr. Guy! If that really is your name. It's not. But thanks for asking.
Hello again, Postmaster. I've delivered your wayward mail. Oh, thank goodness. I realized after that it's really irresponsible of me to give you the mail like that. I could have lost my job. You're welcome. Goodbye. Greetings, Captain. I bring to you your lost seaman. Oh, thank you, Deathbank. Now I can put them back on my poop deck. Little juvenile, but I suppose we can let it go.
Greetings again, Keeper of the Well. Maybe you should have another drink of water. You know, that's a good idea. That's odd-looking water. Oh, well. Ah, that's some good stuff. Are you all right, Keeper of the Well? Worry not, Deathspank. Barnacle has taken over troublesome identity and thoughts. That's swell. So how do you feel about world peace? Implantation of mine barnacles will bring peace to the world. That's great. Could I get the talking stick now? Indeed, take this. Goodbye, Barnacle Dwell Keeper. This isn't the person I need to give this to. Greetings again, Keeper of the Well. Here's a talking stick. Say something already. Well, it's about time someone gave this to me. Do you have any idea how long I've been waiting for this? I'd guess about... Well, it was a very long time. No need to dwell on it. I can finally address my people. It's been so long. We used to take turns with the talking stick, but Leon just didn't give it back one day. I don't know how you got it from him, but I sure am happy you did. Aren't you worried about tight vocal cords? What do you mean? Well, it has been so long since your last address. You need to be careful not to strain your voice. Oh dear. Now I'm worried about it. Maybe you should have a drink of water. You know, that's a good idea. That will keep my voice in good shape. 
Greetings again. I saw you had a lovely statue by your entrance. Yes, I do. It's a statue of something great. I take pride in how shiny it is. I have to dust it every time it gets dirty. I think your statue looked quite dirty. What? Outrageous. I'd better quickly go clean it. It's looking pretty clean now. Okay, back to standing guard then. Maybe you should have another drink of water. You know, that's a good idea. That will keep my voice in good shape. Maybe you should have another drink of water. You know, that's a good idea. That will keep my voice in good shape. How do you feel now, Wellkeeper? Wellkeeper's mind has been lovingly embraced. Wellkeeper shall know only peace with moderate too slight internal screaming. That's well. Who do you like in a big game this weekend? Barnacles have wagered heavily on the great city of Dallas to come from behind. They always do. hi -yo! Could I get that overripe fruit now? Of course, friend Death Spank. Goodbye, my well barnacled chum.
Open your eye! Take that, Undergarment! of flavor and kinetic energy.
Greetings, Mother Barnacle. The cyborgs are defeated and you are free. Thank you, friend Deathspank. My millions of mind barnacle children are free to spread. All sentient life shall be brought under our loving embrace. You barnacles are so wholesome. <laughs> Don't ever change, baby. Proceed to the bacon fire, Death Spike, and your destiny. What an incredible view! I can see your house. Deathspank, thank the heavens you are here. I'm Sheriff Balderonius, god of sheriffs everywhere. You've arrived just in time to solve a murder. Whoa, caps lock. <laughs> Emilio, beloved god of orphans, has been killed by a lightning bolt to the back. Then I'm taking control of this investigation. You stay here and look for more evidence while I go investigate. So, uh, you have any leads? There are only two beings in these parts that could have tossed around lightning. Thor and Zeus. Thor and Zeus, thundering justice balls. They're real. They're here? Zeus lives up the street, and Thor is usually up at the country club on the back nine. If they confess, should I bring back a specific body part? That's usually how things work out for me. Just play it by ear, partner. <laughs> it's not often I hate someone right after meeting them. 
But for you, I'll make an exception. This alarm sure is loud! Shush! Citizen, I am Deathbank. I know who you are, Deathbank. It's me, your old pal, Rich Cabin. Hey, that's super. What are you doing here? I've been elevated to godhood because of my powerful hair and teeth, aided, of course, by my mighty wealth. So, I guess you're doing pretty good for yourself then. Sadly, not as well as I could be. Some gods aren't used to paying rent. I need them evicted with extreme prejudice. Then I can rent out their homes to new exciting deities and be even richer. Progress! The first god you'll be evicting is Ganesha. How do I do that? Get him out of the yard and then I can close the gate to lock him out. Sounds easy. Sadly, he never leaves the yard. And how do I... Oh, I'm too busy to continue talking. Greetings, giant elephant guy. I am Ganesha, Lord of Beginnings. Lord of Obstacles, Patron of Arts and Sciences, Diva of Intellect and Wisdom. Well, hey there, champ. I'm Deathback, first runner-up in the Plunk Muckle Spelling Bee. I wouldn't won, but I spelled foosball wrong. What's life like in Valhalla Heights? The food may be a bit uh, Nordic for my taste, but the life is fine and wonderful. Full of plush cushions and plusher servants. You gods do know how to live. Don't you ever want to return to your outdoorsy elephant lifestyle? You silly boy, man. Elephants aren't real. Sorry. I'm having trouble keeping track of what's mythical these days. How about those guys with the red blazers? Real estate agents are very real. And damn their oily hides. What do you think of the golf course? It certainly looks nice. They won't let me enter the country club unless the computer breaks. 
Then suddenly I'm Mr. Popular. Yeah, people getting you to do tasks for small rewards is the worst. What do you know about the formerly living god, Emilio? Emilio was always so helpful. How so? He and his hundreds of children have always respected my followers. Even the ugly ones? <laughs> no, of course not them. You. What kind of food do you like? I drink from the well of enlightenment that is human knowledge. And also peanuts. I haven't been getting much of either lately. hey -o! Sorry, Mr. Tusks, but I'm here to evict you. That seems highly unlikely. An argument could be made that I no longer pay my rent. But a similar argument could be made that wealth has no value to the soul. I don't care for that particular argument. Despeg likes the cash monies. Rich Cabin has quested me with your removal from the premises. Oh, so you are a mercenary then. Only if you consider someone that exchanges money for violent actions a mercenary. I am pretty sure that is the definition of mercenary. I probably do enough stuff pro bono to be considered a hero. <laughs> I even help people when they don't want it. Well, I'm staying here, Mr. Hero. And there's nothing you can do about it. As Rich Cabin's legal representative, I order you to leave. No way, Mr. Legal Man. I have almost everything I need here. You cannot make me leave. Ask me a dozen more times and I will say the same thing. I dare you. As Rich Cabin. No way. I have almost asked me. As no. I have asked me. As no. I have asked. As no. I have asked me. As no. I have asked. As I asked. Smell you later, Ganesha. librarian. Please, keep your voice down while in my library. If you make any loud noises, I'll be forced to shush you. Got it. Loud noises equals shushing. This alarm sure is loud. Shush.
Greetings, godlike being. I am Zeus, god of the sky and thunder. And you, of course, are Despank. You've heard of me? I am a god. I've heard of all things and all people. Well, listen up, Mr. Know-it-all. Someone godlike and electrical killed the god of the orphans. Shakus! How dare you use that kind of language? I admit not being sad that Emilio has died. I mean, since when do orphans need their own god? That's just ridiculous. Why not give them a history month while you're at it? But it could not have been me. Prove it, suspect. I am far too old to generate lightning without medical assistance. I have to use special pills just to move around. So, you're saying you couldn't have done it? Now you're cooking with gas, mortal. If you're looking for a suspect, go find Thor. Lousy conducting jerk, going on about his arms and amps. And I don't care how many followers he's got, his Twitter feed is boring. Yeah, they're all boring. Knowing him, he'll be at the golf course. Golf course? There's an immortals only course nearby. Par forever. You'll need a member's reference to get in, and I'm giving you one. Tell them to talk to me if there's any problems. Thanks, Zeus Arino. When you're done throwing the book at Thor, come back and talk to me. I can use some help around here. You know, I like your style, Despink. Thanks, big guy. And with Emilio dead, there's an opening in the Pantheon. In exchange for doing my 12 labors, I'll pull some strings and make you a god. How does that strike you? I always wanted to be a deity. What's first? Trim that mightiest of shrubberies, the Aegean Hedge. What am I doing with this hedge again? The Aegean Hedge has grown out of control. I grew it on a whim and fortified it with the immortal dung of my cattle. Immortal dung? Like the dung itself cannot die? Okay. Maybe it wasn't a good idea, but let's try to move on. So, what's the deal with you and Thor? I've never liked that Thornton. He can't just age gracefully like a god should. I've got him with my Vestal Virgins more than is appropriate. Knowing him, he'll be at the golf course. Foul, disgusting game. Fun, though. No, it isn't. Goodbye, ancient deity. Farewell, mortal. Stay off my lawn! The Argean Hedge is no more! I said trim, not kill! Whatever. Next, cut my lawn. The lawn of Stymphalia. The lawn is composed of the finest immortal goat thistle. Only a goat or goat-like creature can harm it. Goodbye, ancient deity. Farewell, mortal. Stay off my lawn.
of stim failure has been tamed. Excellent. What labor number are we up to now? Twelve. Definitely twelve. Last one already? Yep. But what about the... Dead. They're all dead. Well then, the final labor is to go kill the Barabus. I had him chained up here, but he ran away in shame after you snuck by. A bear bus running wild and free is not a good thing. Goodbye, ancient deity. Farewell, mortal. Stay off my lawn. Lost and found is empty. out of my home. You got that right. Is there anything sadder than a homeless god? I sure hope not. Now get out of here, you pachyderm. <laughs> Greetings, rich cabin. Ganesha has been evicted. That peanut move was pure brilliance, Dustbank. As brilliant as your pearly white teeth. But the next eviction won't be so easy. I now need you to get Anansi out of his yard. 
He keeps trying to pay in stories and fables, but those are not acceptable forms of currency. Be careful, Dust Bank. My wealth is counting on you. I'm used to God's being a little more photogenic. You should be more respectful towards me. I once tried to hoard all the world's wisdom in a pot. Now we both know that didn't happen. How's the life here in Godland? I am loving it very much. I tell the staff stories all day, every day, that they are contractually required to enjoy. Have you ever thought of moving? I would never leave this incredible land. Anything a god spider like myself would want is available. All the ambrosia I can drink and free pay-per-view arena fights. That does sound pretty sweet. What would it take to move you? No mere violence can move me, Dustbank. I am the very spirit of trickery made flesh. With the joke king and the tall tales and the unlikely things. <laughs> so unless something right nasty comes along, I'm staying right here. What would force you to leave? Nice try, Mr. Tricky. You want me to say the thing that would make me leave? But I have forgotten and later relearn more about tricks than you will ever know. Do you know anything about who murdered Emilio? Emilio was a delightful god. I cannot imagine someone hurting him, let alone the murderer and the stab stabbing. Sorry, Godbug, but I'm here to evict you. Torture to the face and all the many hands, for I am the major pantheon god. I don't go nowhere or do nothing, unless I wills it. zip zop and doodly bop <laughs> That last sentence was a bit of a surprise, but I suppose I'll let it go. Bridge Cabin says you need to pay up or get out. Bridge Cabin is a no good, money loving super dupe. How oh, dare you say that about Rich Cabin's hair and teeth? Don't you know how much joy they bring to the world? When well, I'm staying here, and there's nothing you can do about it. Can you leave your property for a little bit? No way, Mr. Jose. You'll be doing bad trickery if I move from here. Rich Cabin is as sneaky as his hair is delightful. You can say that again. See you later, Cuddling. Later, Death Bank.
Greetings, customer! Behold, the godly pro shop! Shop smart! Shop Vulcan smart! Ha <laughs> ha! Greetings, customer! Behold, the godly pro shop! Shop smart! Shop! and so forth, with the fooling and the flim flamming and shenanigans, hey, hey. I sure did, but you are a worthy foe. Let that thought keep you warm on the cold, cold street. Sure would be great if someone started playing the old Incredible Hulk music right now, but that's probably pretty expensive. Teens rich cabin, and Nancy has moved on to better things, like street living and public washrooms. Amazing, Deathspank. You're a king among emperors. And speaking of kings, I just need you to evict one more person for me. The king. The king? God of outrageous sandwiches? The one and only. Good luck. You'll need it. Snappy dressed fella. Greetings, this man. I am the king. God of outrageous sandwiches. Inventor of the blue cheese and peanut butter. Fall over. I used to eat those. Oh, finally had to quit, though, when the parasites got into my eyes. My mighty god of wisdom power comes from followers like you. Stay school. Thanks, mister. I will. Can I get an autograph? Well, of course, you can, little Lily. Got a bit. Don't you have one? No, I don't carry them. Can't risk the ink getting on my stylish threads. Hey, can I get an autograph? Well, of course, you can, little Lily. 
Captain Gullivan. I'd ask... Like what? Tell me a story, Mr. The King. Once upon a time, there was a mechanical emperor. And some hero tried to kill it with an electromagnet pulse weapon. But it didn't work Because there was a real emperor inside All along I'll have to remember that one How's retirement life? There are times, baby When I miss the open road Sticking out new and exotic sandwiches to defeat and combat I'm thinking of creating a historical recreation society to build the sandwiches of ages past. Yeah. Dibs on the first donkey one. I put a lot of thought into it, and it must taste amazing. Have you ever thought of moving? Well, there's nowhere an old guy like me could go. The world has moved on to pre-baggish food. <laughs> Some of it is even good for you. Well, now, that's just silly. What would it take to move you? I would need a reason to leave. And I'll never have a reason. Unless, of course, I'm asked to defend my country. What would force you to leave? No force in this world can make me leave. Only a king's sense of duty can make a move. Also, you may have noticed. I'm pretty hefty. Holy oh, God. My God, like fires have been known to start both fires on. The god Amelia was murdered. Got an alibi. Oh, no. I was busy eating a mustard, clotted cream, and ham sandwich. That sounds incredible. I could marry a bread product like that. We can't marry this one. It's taken by the king. My heart and colon burns. Listen up, Gatto. I'm here to evict you. It's time for you to get rambling. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere. As much as I'd like a good ramble. Those sandwiches I paid are legal tender in several countries. Here's a washcloth. Rich Cabin wants you off the property. Rich Cabin may be a worthy adversary of a landlord. But I'll not be moved. Please just go. I hate it when we fight. Then unblock your ears and open your heart. For the king moves for nobody. Not even queens. Yeah. That's deep. You should do movies. What would force you to leave? No force in this world can make me leave. Only a king sense of duty can make a move. Also, you may have noticed. Uh, See you later, God King. Later, mortal. Stay sexy.
Why, it's Derek Oil! What brings you to Valhalla Heights? Greetings, Death Spank! I've used my incredible wealth to purchase a godhood. I am now Derek Oil, god of down-home country cooking, and I founded this here country club. Now, I know we've had dealings in the past, but this institution has a closed membership. I just can't let in any... Left-handed people? Mortals. You'll need a reference from a member god in good standing before I let you be on the lobby. Zeus and I are good friends. Just ask him. Well, Zeus is chair of the club's discrimination society. So he's an excellent reference. Let me open the door to the lounge for you. Step into an eternity of plush. <laughs> now listen up, my boy. A member's reference gets you into the club, but you must dress appropriately to get on to the golf course. Well, appropriate for golf, that is. Taste and style are optional. Also, this isn't a charity, so you will need to supply your own golf club. You could argue this is the opposite of a charity. No simple golf club will do either. A godly golf course requires godly golf clubs. I'm talking Major Pantheon, or better. <laughs> Yowch! Swinging with the big boys now. Speak to me of Thor's rich history. Why, Thornton is one of our most esteemed members. You can usually find him out on the golf course. The man's blood is so blue, it's like looking at the sky. You know, on a sunny day. Tell me more about Zeus. Zeus is a founding member of highest esteem. His self-righteousness and extreme wealth are an example for us all. He never comes in on a Thursday, so I imagine he's at home. Teach me about this incredible institution. After years of pointless battle, Rich Cabin and I have decided to enjoy eternity in perfect opulence. Luckily, the bottom just fell out of the soul market. So we purchased godhoods from some out-of-luck deities and built this magnificent club. Goodbye, Daddy Coil.
What do you think of my outfit? Is that blood on the collar? I think it's brains, actually. Well, that is one bold golf fashion statement. But maybe fashion is the wrong word. I still need to get a godly golf club. Now, this isn't a charity. So you will need to supply your own golf club. No simple golf club, you'll a golf club. Goodbye. Customer, behold the godly pro shop. <laughs> now we're talking. I've never wanted a golf club more in my life. Vulcan obliges any golfer, mortal or godlike. Well, Death's Bank seeks membership to this very country club. Then a special club is what you require. A finer club than one that has ever been crafted. Just say what you need. Oh, please do. First, bring me a set of fine clubs. <laughs> oh, I love my job. Meat. Oh, such a treasure of fine golf flesh! With these, a mighty shaft and handle shall be forged! But something special is needed for the, uh, uh, top part. Clubhead. I knew that! What grand device must I obtain? The clubhead I speak of is no mere device. A lightning bolt is needed, Deathspank. One culled from the very heavens above! Piece of cake! There's gotta be one around here somewhere.
the lightning of golfic destiny. Then the greatest work of my life is complete. Creating this object has given my long life meaning. Hey, that's great. What do you think of my outfit? Is that blood on the... Uh, well, that but maybe fashion. Behold, a godly golf club. An excellent piece of craftsmanship. Just looking at it, you can taste the sound of quality. Why, you're all set to go out on the golf course now. Goodbye, Daddy Coil. Tournament man, let's see Lucky Challenge 13. Well, my friend, I've saved a special fight for this round. And try to ham it up in there. Serious injury and dismemberment is gold for ratings. My injury or my opponents? Whichever. Hideous 13th challenge has been conquered. Well, I'm proud of you, Death Spank. Your audience is proud of you. And the home audience is proud of you. Finally. You know, Tony, after all these battles, I'm beginning to think you don't really care about me. Caring isn't given, Death Spank. It's earned. Earned with repetitive, violent challenges. It was no big deal. Now I'll just walk off these many internal injuries. I know you, some nutritious chicken, and you're good to go. 
Remember when I killed those old ladies? Yeah. That was great. The next arena challenge will be far greater. Go forth and slay. Agro detected. Challenge is over, and your rating's secure. Thank you, Death's Bank. Because of you, my many secret bank accounts are secure. I know what you're thinking. You do? You're thinking, I wish I could fight a milling horde of robots. I was thinking that. Then get in there and retire some older models. are retired. Marvelous. I hope they'll be comfortable in their new lives. Oh, that kind of retirement. Whoops. I need an unusual challenge. A creature rarely seen yet often killed. I know, just the beast. A raiding spiking creature made of dairy and terror. Dairy? Alchemist. Late. Your strange, nefarious beasts are dead. A tragic loss to biologists everywhere, but a wonderful victory for our viewers. More 
more, Entertainer. Give me more! Well, that time you killed a demon was pretty sweet. Oh, you don't need to tell me. So this time, wait for it, we'll have you kill two demons. You TV executives are so brilliant. Your duopoly of demons are defeated. Is duopoly a word? I don't think that's really important right now. Keep these wins up, Death Spank, and soon you'll be ready for the championship. I've thought about it, and I'm ready for the championship. I'm so glad you thought about it, but you're wrong. First, you must fight last year's runner-up. Miss Congeniality, as it were. Runner-up lies defeated again. Let's hear it, people! Death Spank is number two! I've never been more proud, but I hope to change that. Me, championship, do it! Oh, I agree, Death Spank. You've struggled long and hard, and now the day is here. Inside that arena is the fiercest foe you'll ever see. The one, the only, Morbo the Magnificent! Then Morbo will meet his maker. Morbo was in fact assembled in a factory. <laughs> 
Sell lace. Was slain. The championship is mine, and so are the nerd points. It is a brave thing you've done here, Deathspank. Thanks to you, many proud warriors are dead, and several rare creatures extinct. I am so happy. I've had a lovely day. Everybody's been so nice. I'd like to thank the cast and the crew. And especially Morbo. Now, take this key to unlock the champion's treasure. Will do.
justice!
Greetings, Thor. This better be good, bra. I'm shooting seven under right now, and I don't want anything messing with my flow. Did you kill Emilio? No way, bra. I converted Molinaire into a sweet butter ages ago. Nothing but aces and birdies come out of her now. <laughs> so you didn't kill Emilio. Correct, Amundo, bra. You should go back to the sheriff and see if he has any other leads for you. Greetings again, Thor. Listen up, bra. I've got a wicked game going on, dude. But Ragnarok is like do any moment now. Really? For reals, I'm even supposed to die. Get called when you're dead, bra. That does sound difficult. But do me a solid, bra. Slay the Surtur Giants to delay Ragnarok. They'll be reborn eventually, but until then, I'll be hitting the links. Uh, sure. Cool. Let me know when you're done. Tell me about the Surtur Giants. The Surtur Giants hang at their pitch and putt in Hades. <laughs> There's no way we'd make those hackers members. This place is AAA credit rating. Know what I'm saying? Goodbye. Hello again, Sheriff to the Gods. Both Thor and Zeus have airtight alibis. What else do you have for me? I've discovered a large puddle of bacon grease around the body. Only one god around here is rich enough to afford bacon grease. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. The Midgard Serpent. The Midgard Serpent. Now we just need proof. I've got this. Give me a match. Jackpot! Leave this to me.
ocean. So good.
flathead! Mental note, invest wisely, retire well.
Oh, now that's just silly. Trash demon. Release me from this cage, human. And who might you be? Shake in fear and awe mortal, for I am Hades. I'm not gonna shake much for people in cages, buddy. So listen up. Did you kill Emilio? I haven't been able to kill anyone for days. I've been locked up. Please, get me out of this cage. How do I do that? I'm low on energy. If you could just lure a few of those creatures over here, and then kill them in front of me, the sacrifice would restore my powers enough for me to break out. Evil sacrifices aren't really the most heroic solution. Oh, come on. You've probably already killed a dozen of them on the way here. What's a few more? Well, you did say please. Precious freedom! <laughs> Free once more to be the scourge of the shuffleboard tournament! Way to go, slugger! Who trapped you in the cage? That no good serpent Thurston? Trapping and killing gods is somehow fueling his power. He lives north of here, sleeping in the roots of the world tree. Bedibus is dead. Finally! I wasn't going to wait forever. But I am a god of my word. Brace yourself, Despank, for I make you god of orphans! All of them? Or just the good ones? All of them! Well, I guess that's okay, too. Ancient deity. Farewell, mortal. Stay off my lawn.
I don't think he wants that. Greetings, the king. Hey, can I get an autograph? Well, of course you can, little Ellie. Got a pen. Just the best damn pen I've ever seen. My very scars. That is a pen of ages you hold. I know, right? Pretty sweet. I sure hope you got some of the sign. <laughs> Could you autograph these official government documents? Why, of course. The king loves a federal authority. I'll just attend to his this document. <laughs> Eat your vegetables, kid. Grow up big and strong. I thought I was done growing. You thought wrong. See you later, God King. Later, mortal. Stay sexy. Greetings, the... King, you've just been drafted. What? Prove it. See? Look at these papers I have. They're even signed by you. Well, that's not usually how the draft works. But it looks like I'm heading out of war. Stand aside, little buddy. This godly warrior. And I'll fight for talking oil. The best kind of oil. That sounds fun. I may join you later. Curse you, that's me. You cost me my home. Well, when you think about it, it's your fault. Your home stood in the way of Rich Cabin's teeth. You're out of course. My hubris was my down hall. Now I'm adrift in the world. Yeah, thank you. Farewell, this way. Stay beautiful. Yeah. Greetings, rich cabin. The king has rambled on. Incredible job, Despank. Deadbeat God Zero, rich cabin three. Hat trick.
The Surtur Giants are no more. Sweet. Goodbye. Again, Thurston. Ouch! <laughs> Are you sure we can't be friends? I snore. Well, that's enough damage to my self esteem. You're going down, reptile. Oh, God, I'm so dizzy. Deathspike Serpent, and remember it until I kill you. <laughs> Death Spank never pays attention. Uh, <laughs>
name's Deathbag Serpent, and remember it until I kill you. <laughs> There's no I in quit. <laughs> When I'm done here, you'll be more than retired. You'll be dead. <laughs> no can do, Buster. Deathbank's got a thong to burn. If you think this is annoying, wait till I kill you!
Sweetie! I... Shut up! Don't you want to know about my evil plan? I don't remember asking. Then Thing. 
Spank was dying. The world was safe. But what was the anti Spank trying to accomplish? Why send his armies out to loot the world? What was he trying to build? A time machine? This was so exciting I could barely narrate. Clearly, there was only one thing to do. Finally, I could bring justice to the past, future, and Steve. But that's a story for another day. Game developers are the real heroes.